My name is Kelly Neal and I'm going to be demonstrating how to do perineal care and how to change a brief on a patient. So the first thing you want to do before you get started is you want to of course have introduced yourself to your resident and let them know what you're going to be doing. Believe it or not, people can actually refuse to get cleaned up even when they've been incontinent so long as they understand. Um, if they have dementia or Alzheimer's and they don't understand what's happening to them, then even if they're saying they don't want to get cleaned up, we can still clean them up. So I've already introduced myself and explained to the patient what I'm going to be doing. So now I'm going to go over and get my linens and my supplies. When you come to the linen cart, you want to make sure that you are not wearing gloves in the linen cart. Your hands should be clean. You should have hand sanitized before we even walked into that room to introduce ourselves to our patient and we hand sanitize on our way out of a room. So when we go into the linen cart, our hands should be clean. You never wear gloves in a linen cart. So the things I'm going to need is I'm going to need a bath blanket. I'm going to need a waterproof pad for underneath them. I'm going to need a towel to drape my work surface, a towel to dry the front of the patient and a towel to dry their bottom. And I need at least four washcloths. Now, if I know the person was incontinent of a bowel movement, then I'm going to even grab a couple extra. The clean briefs should be at the bedside, um, either in their dresser drawer or in their closet. So when you carry your linens, you always carry them away from you. You don't bring them up against your uniform. So I knock as I walk back into the room and hopefully we've already cleaned off the space to put our supplies. So I'd like to take a towel and I like to drape my work area. And when I set my supplies up, I always like to set up with a clean side and a dirty side. So I have my clean linens, my bath basin will go here, I'll put my dirty supplies right there. So now I still have to get my other supplies. I'm going to need my basin and some soap. Now some facilities use no rinse soap and those are actually really nice products. Don't be afraid to use them. Um, some places use bar soap and some places will use liquid soap. So then you just get a cup and you put the liquid soap in it. And I'm gonna get my clean brief. So um, I'm gonna go get my water before I get my bed set up. And when I go into the bathroom and I get my water, I like to get it a little to the warm side because I know it'll probably be cooling off by the time I'm ready to actually start bathing them. Anytime you use water, you check the temperature and you ask your resident or your patient to check it. Now we refer to people as patients in a hospital and residents in a nursing home. So we're gonna have them check it and they're gonna say that's okay. So now that will go in the middle. And so now I'm ready to start getting him set up. So I am going to, I have to have my gloves on before I start washing. I can actually go ahead and get the bath blanket on him now and then put my gloves on or I can put my gloves on now, either way. Now the one thing, as far as the curtain goes, you always wanna provide privacy. I didn't wanna pull the curtain on that side because um, we're filming this, but you do always wanna make sure that your patient is protected um, privacy, that no one can be looking in. So I'll get my gloves on. Now when you're giving a bath or doing perineal care, and the bed is in an up position, you always want to make sure that the rail away from you is up. So I'm going to put the rail down on this side, but that side has to remain up. And now I'm going to go ahead and drape my patient with my bath blanket. When you do perineal care, you are required to make sure that they are have warmth and privacy. So this bath blanket will help with both of those things. So I'm going to unfold my bath blanket. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take off this sheet and bedspread. Now your book talks about doing what we call a diamond technique. And that's where you make a diamond with this blanket. And this part here will fold up when you're ready to do pericare. This part here will come and wrap around the legs. Um, you are welcome to use that technique. Another way you can do it is you can just put your bath blanket up here on the top and then I use this for the legs and then I just lift up here. Um, the state says so long as you provide one from privacy, it's fine. So I'm gonna take off my old brief. So I'm gonna unhook here and unhook here. And then what I like to do is I just roll this down and I tuck it right here. 
Now this person does not have a waterproof pad underneath them, so I'm gonna to wanna to put a waterproof pad so I don't get the bed wet when I do my perineal care. And I would even, I would need my patient to be able to lift their bottom up. I could have done this even before I unhooked that brief. Okay. So now I'm pretty much set to go. So I want to set up so I have all of my supplies right here. So I'm not having to walk back and forth for my supplies. My four washcloths, I'm going to put all of them in my water because nothing's going to dip back into the water. I'm going to show you two techniques of how you can clean. One is called a mitt technique and one is called a four corners technique. So with the mitt technique, you wrap this around here and fold it in. You would take your soap and you would rub soap on all sides of your washcloth. Now when you're ready to wash, you spread the labia open, the folds here, and you go from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom on the other side, then close the labia and go from the top to the bottom, top to the bottom. And now this would go on the dirty side. It does not dip back into that clean water. Now I have to go back over it and rinse it. Inner labia, inner labia on the other side. Close the labia, top to bottom, top to bottom. And then I would pat dry. Now I'm gonna back up here and just show you the four corners technique. Had I not done this and these were still clean. A four corner technique, what you do, and you can play with this as you're learning and you can decide which technique you like better. You put soap on all four corners of your washcloth. And now when you spread the labia, you go inner corner down, inner corner down. That was the inside of the labia. Close the labia. And now that would go to the dirty side. And now I would go back over it and rinse it, the soap off. So you always have to rinse your soap off. Now if you happen to be fortunate to that you're working at a place that uses no rinse soap, then this rinsing step you would not have to do. And now I'll take this towel and I will pat dry the front. that on the dirty side. So now I am going to get the, I have to get this brief off at the same time that I'm going to clean him. So what I want to do for her is I'm going to take this brief and I'm going to tuck this on this side as far under him as I can. Now when I do that, so by tucking this brief as far under him there as I can, now when I roll them over to clean their bottom, hopefully soil brief I should just be able to take right out now the soil brief I can put here in the garbage can or you can already have a bag ready to drop it in if you put it in the garbage can here you have to bag it up and take it out of the room when you're completely done um, it is not okay to leave soiled briefs in a in a bedroom so now I have to clean the bottom now remember I've cleaned to here so this is clean to the perineum right here. So I'm gonna start here and then come up the dirty side. So if I'm doing a mitt technique, this is more traditional style nursing, the mitt technique. A lot of people don't use it anymore. You start from where you left off and you're gonna come up. And I use the, the smaller sides here for up the um, crack on the bottom and then the larger sides and now that will go to the dirty side. My last one, I'll show you how I would have done this had this been a four corner technique. I usually come up the middle twice. And I should have one towel left and we'll pat dry the bottom. And you don't really have to use a, a four corner technique or a mid technique or anything like that to dry. And that will go to the soil side. So now I want to put my clean brief underneath them. So what I like to do is you want the part with the tags on the bottom side. And when I'm putting this up against here, 
I look for right here, I don't know if you can see this, but right here where it starts to curve, I try to line that up to the curve right here. So, so this curve where it starts to curve in here is where I kind of want to line it up to where it's going to curve right there. And then I'll go ahead and I'll have him roll back. Now if you have a patient who can't roll, you're going to need help with this. This part here will come up the front. And now this should hopefully just come right around the back. So. This part's bent a little funny. So I'll close these nice and snug. All right, so we have finished peri care. So while I have him here, if he can lift up again, I can just go ahead and pull my waterproof pad out. I can go ahead and be lifting this up as I'm pulling this off. And I do wanna make sure that this is, this gown and stuff isn't all wrinkled up. Now, a lot of people are concerned about lifting this up with this hand because you've been doing peri care. Remember that there's sandy wipes in the room and hand sanitizer in all the room and you can always just take it and wipe the rail down when you're all done with your perineal care. Or you can change your gloves and take your gloves off, hand sanitize, put another pair of gloves on to drop this down and then get rid of your stuff. But it's probably easier just to come back and wipe that rail off. So now I have to get rid of all my supplies. So I'm going to take this and dump this in the toilet, rinse it out, dry it and put it back where it goes. I'm gonna take all of my soiled linen here, and depending on where you're doing your clinical rotation at, some of the rooms have soiled linen hampers in the room, you would just dump it in the soiled linen hamper. Some of the facilities use bags, you would have a bag that you could just dump it into the bag. Um, some of them you have to have the soiled linen hamper right outside the door, you just go to the door and dump it out there. Um, so I'm gonna dump this all in the soiled linen hamper which we don't have one over here. So this is gonna be my soiled linen hamper. And now it's time to take off my gloves and wash my hands. Now, anytime you're taking off your gloves, you always wanna make sure you grab one here. So you don't grab it underneath here, because remember your hands are soiled, so you don't wanna to touch your skin there. So I'm gonna grab here, but I don't wanna be flicking things off. So I wanna bring it into this hand and I wanna come underneath. This will go into the garbage and then I would wash my hands with soap and water or I can hand sanitize. Now, before I'm completely done, I have one more step I have to do. I have to make sure my patient's comfortable. So I wanna make sure that his sheets are fairly wrinkle free, that his call light is in reach, make sure that the things that he likes to use is within easy reach, and see if he needs anything else before I leave. Then I'll pull my curtain back and I'm done with that skill.